Hi sweets, good morning. I hope you're having a great start of the day. I'm going to keep on with the same theme to try to do my tutorials um, from the dark store. For today's I'm going to use a couple of things from HMN that I know that it is in drugstore but they are really affordable. I'm gonna try a couple of new things and I bought another Cutty Air Spun Loose Face Powder but this one is extra coverage I think it is. Yeah, extra coverage and I like Cutty. The only um, thing that I have to make sure that you know it is that it has a fragrance it reminds me of my grandma let's just go to what we are here for which is makeup and i'm gonna start with my physician formula id puff for primer i'm gonna use the nyx angel veil to be honest i don't like much this primer i haven't had good experiences with it I don't know why when I apply my foundation on top of it, it sticks to dry patches where, which I don't have. I don't suffer from that. I use my CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir in 732. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques 301 brush. I'm just buffing this product into my skin. By the way, I'm so sorry if by any means you are a full coverage gal I'm not. As I said, I like to see in other people, but I don't think that I look good with that kind of coverage in my skin. I'm gonna go for my concealer and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Light 10 and I'm gonna brighten it under my eyes, my forehead, the my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my smile lines. And I'm gonna blend it with my Sephora Pro 57 brush. I'm gonna blend everywhere where I have applied my concealer, my under eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. I really like that concealer because it blends so easily into your foundation that it's Good. I'm going to try the blushes that I got from HMN. Why I'm going to do that? Because they are cream blushes, they are in powder, and I'm not going to set my under eye because I have always thought that when you set your under eye, the powder moves to some other places, and I don't want to have that kind of um, mess around my face. These are the three shades that I got from HMN. This is Cameo Brown, this is Autumn Rush, and this one is Peachy Rose. They look that they come a little bit strong in color, but they don't, they aren't. When you start blending it, they don't have that strong pigmentation, and that's what I like about them, that you can apply them and build them up. I'm gonna try the three of them. I'm gonna start with Cameo Brown. When you apply it, you can use it as a sheer blush or you can build it up and that's what I like about this blushes and it looks really nice in the skin and it isn't as dark as you can see in the pan now we're gonna go autumn rush it is a little more in the reddish family this has a little more pigment than the other one I'm blending it the two shades are really nice as I said this is a little more brown and this is a little more reddish but they look so good that now I can't pick a shade. This peachy rose, and I'm gonna apply it in my cheeks. There's a little more rosy peach. It looks really fresh, really healthy. I like the three shades, and I like how they look, and I also like that they don't move and they don't disrupt my foundation. I'm gonna take this one off, and I think I'm gonna stick to the first one that was Cameo Brown. Now I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna start with my under eye and I'm gonna try for the first time the Cutty Earth Spun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. First I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any creases in my under eye. I'm using my crown brush from a trio set. I'm applying it in everywhere we have where I did apply concealer. I'm gonna use now my other Cutty Earth Spun Loose Face Powder. This is in Honey Beige to set my entire face. Now I'm gonna bronze my face and I'm gonna use another thing that I bought from HMN. This is their, this is one of their bronzers. This is the deep, this is the solar flare bronzing powder. This shade is deep bronze. And I'm using my 
matte 150 brush to bronze my face and I'm gonna dust it a little bit on top of my nose the side of my forehead it looks really dark in the pan but you can build it up you only have to use a light hand and you can tone it down to the color that you need I'm gonna apply a little bit in the beginning part of my nose also for my chimney, I got this Pure Radiance Powder Blusher. This is Gold Peach. I really, really like this shade, but I think it is more as a blush topper, not a blush per se. So that's why I'm gonna apply it on top of the one that I have already in my cheeks. And I'm using this Luxie 660 brush. What I do like about this blusher is it that gives you this shimmery, glowing thing on top of your cheeks that you can skip your highlighter for this. Now I'm gonna use my Physician Formula Youthful Wear in Translucing Illuminating Finish and I'm gonna use my MAC 150 brush to dust this in my entire face. And last but not least, I'm gonna use my Milani Instant Glow Powder Strobe Light in Day Glow. And I'm gonna apply with my Luxie 640 brush. I'm gonna apply in the high points of my face, in the bridge of my nose, in the tip of it, on top of my eyebrows and in my cupid's bow i'm gonna do my eyebrows now and i'm gonna use my chica makeup eyebrow retractable pen this is in the shade brown as always i start by feeling them in then i go to my arch now i draw the tail and now i feel my now I go to the back of it and with the spoolie, I buff the product into my eyebrows. And to set them in place, I'm gonna go with my Milani Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Espresso. Now I'm gonna start my eye look and I'm gonna use my Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I'm blending it with my finger from my lash line towards my brow. This one is Plum Basics. I'm, I have great expectations for this. I'm going to start with the darkest shade in the pan is this color here. And I'm going to use my Lenda Halber 303 brush. I'm packing the brush and I'm going to try to do kind of a liner. But it's going to be much thicker from what we would usually do. I'm just pressing the pigment, so I'm doing this in tapping motions to help the pigment grab. I'm going to switch to this pointed crease brush from the crown to help me get to this area here near my inner corner. Now I'm gonna go for the purple shade and I'm gonna use the same brush, the Linda Halber 303 brush. And I'm gonna apply it on top, a little bit higher, than the first shade but on top of it what i'm trying to do is kind of a diagonal line now i'm going to use my basanti contour eyeshadow in number four and i'm going to try to start blending these two shades together i will have to be really careful because i don't want to hire them much the brush is clean it doesn't have any shadow in it i'm just going over the two shades and i'm gonna try to extend it like it was kind of a look alike wing liner but not as precise as one i think i'm gonna use a little bit of this mauve shade to help me blend these two shades together i'm taking extremely little from the pen and now I'm going to apply it on top of the two shadows. I'm doing this in circular motions, but instead of being inwards, I'm going for outwards. I'm reapplying a little bit of the first shade, the plump one. Now I'm gonna mix this shade and I'm gonna mix this rosy one. Use this Luxie 249. And this I'm gonna dust it in this area here. 
here and I'm gonna take it to my brow bone. I'm applying it a little on top of the purple shade and I'm dragging it towards my inner corner. I'm going to take more of the pink shade only and that one I'm gonna focus only in my inner part of my eye. I'm gonna use this side of the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. This is in the shade 30 Black Brilliance. I'm gonna just brush it in and with my finger blend it in because I don't want a lot of sparkles, just a little touch. Now for my bottom part, I'm gonna use the same two shades. First I'm gonna go with the plum one, then I'm gonna go with the purple one. I'm using my Aesthetica brow brush and I'm gonna apply it just to the half of my bottom lashes. Now to smoke it out a little bit, I'm gonna use my pointed crease brush from the crown. I'm taking from the pan a little bit of the purple shade. And this, I have to be really careful because I want to smoke it, but not lower it a lot. I just want to connect my top part with my bottom. Now for my waterline, I'm gonna use my Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the shade Fix It on Plum, but I'm just going to apply it till the part of the shadow that I have so it means that I'm gonna apply it only to the half. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and for mascara I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise in black is black. First my top, now my bottom. For falsies I'm gonna use my Azarelo Cosmetic Lash Collection. As I said previously, they were so nice to give me a discount code for you guys, it's Yancy10, and you just have to write it down in your checkout and you will get a couple of bucks less in your purchase. I'm gonna go with the Style Hollywood, it's the last one on the road. As always, with the help of my tweezers, I'm going to press my, la my falsies to my lashes. Then I go and secure the sides. For lips, I was thinking about a dark one, but in my last video, I used a really dark, vampy lip. So I'm going to switch things a little bit. First, I'm going to outline them. As always, I first start with my cupid's bow, then I go to the sides. Now I'm going to go for my bottom part. First the center, the sides. Now that I have outlined my lips, I'm gonna go with this Chica Makeup Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade 09 Matte Burgundy. And this, I'm gonna apply it in the center of my top and bottom lip. And I'm going to blend it in a little bit. I think I'm gonna top it off with this Rimmel Oh My Gloss. This is in the shade Nonstop Glamour 120. And to set everything in place, I'm going to go with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish. So, sweets, this is the final look. I like how my face looks. I like my lip combination. And I really enjoy this Milani Plum Basics palette. This one I really like. I finally am satisfied with one of these small versions of it. I like each and every shade that I got from HMN in the cream section blush. They were amazing and they didn't disrupt my foundation. That would, it is a plus. Also, I like the blush topper that I use. Really nice, really subtle. It goes really good with everything that you applied in your complexion. The bronzer, great as well. It blends really easily, it looks really nice and good in the skin and it is a combination between um, matte and it has this a little bit of sparkly things but you don't show it in your skin when you are applying it. And it played with my other products really well. And the last item that I, that I applied was this gloss from Rimmel and is good as well. It isn't sticky and it doesn't have that uncomfortable situation that some gloss give you. It glides. So overall, I like everything that I use. I really like my eye look. This elongated 
application that I did. So it's, this is the wrap up. I hope you like it. And if you did, press the like button. If you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notifications bell. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.